In this video, you are going to learn how to build a multi-place game with ease. Hi there everyone, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. So what is a multi-place game? It's a game experience where players can seamlessly transition between different places within the same game, like moving between worlds, levels, or locations. Let us start by creating a brand new experience, or you can just open an existing experience like what I'm doing right here. In today's example, I'm using an existing experience called NPC Tag. So whenever you create an experience, it automatically creates a start place for your experience. For example, this here is the start place for my NPC Tag game. To turn this into a multi-place game, I'm gonna go up here and right click, select Asset Manager, Places, now right click, add new place. Go up here and right click, rename NPC tag level two. Double click on the new place. Now we can work on our new place. For example, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna add a part. Once you're done working on the new place, you're gonna go up here, remember to file and publish to Roblox. We can now close this Roblox Studio for our new place. Going back to our starting place for NPC tag, I'm gonna close the asset manager here, and I'm gonna go up here and add in a part. I'm gonna move my part over here. And also, I wanna raise it up a little bit, so I'm gonna click on move, and I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Also, I wanna anchor that part, so basically this part here is going to be our endpoint for level 1. When the player reaches this part, the player is done with level 1 and the player is going to move on to level 2. We can rename this part to endpoint. And now select the endpoint, we're going to add in a script. Our script here is going to connect the player who touches this part to level 2. It's going to teleport the player to level 2. And all you need to do is to replace this ID here with the place ID of your level 2. So now let's go back to our level 2. We need to get the place ID for our level 2. Right click, Asset Manager. Right click on our level 2. Copy ID to clipboard. Come back over here. We're going to paste it in. Close Asset Manager. And now let's play test and take a look. I'm not really sure if it's gonna work inside studio. We may have to, we may have to test it outside in the real game. Gotcha. So I'm gonna jump up here and you can see I am not teleported to level two. All right, so it doesn't look like it's working inside Roblox Studio. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stop this and I'm gonna publish this to Roblox. So remember, we have already published our new place to Roblox and we have published the changes to our starting place to Roblox. Let's now test it on Roblox. So here we are. I'm gonna go to my endpoint, which is gonna take me to level two. Wow, I'm missing all the girls. All right, ready or not, here we go. And there we are, we have been teleported to level two. Another thing I want to show you is how to transfer a place from one experience to another experience. Let's say if I have another game here, Pebble having a new beginning. So this one here has its own place. I want to transfer this place from Pebble having a new beginning to a new place in NPC tag. How would I do that? Well, the way you do it is you got to go to your Pebble having a new beginning, go to file, and you're going to publish to Roblox as. Here, you're going to look for the other game. So I'm going to look for NPC tag, which is right here. Select NPC tag. And on this next screen here, instead of selecting NPC tag, which is going to overwrite NPC tag, or if I select NPC tag level two, it's going to overwrite NPC tag level two. But in this case, how about we create a new place instead of overriding one of these two places, 
I'm going to create a new place. So I'm going to add as a new place and click on create. Successfully publish. Now we can close everything and let's go to NPC tag. See if we see this new place inside NPC tag. Here we are back inside NPC tag. We're going to go back to asset manager. And there it is. This is the new place that we have copied over. So how about I'll rename this place to NPC tag level three. And I'll rename this one to NPC tag level two. One other thing we need to do here is I need to right click and copy ID to clipboard. Go back to the script and we need to paste in the place ID. Now we can close this, publish to Roblox. And now we're going to test NPC tag on Roblox. Again, I need to go to the endpoint of level one. And here we are, hop on it. And it transported me to Pebble Heaven, a new beginning. So now guys, you can come to NPC Tag, check it out for yourself, and then you can be teleported to Pebble Heaven, a new beginning, and enjoy the game. And don't go away, because I have one more thing to show you. The last and final thing I want to show you today is, we're going to go back to Asset Manager. And you see level 3 we're not using right now, so how do we get rid of it? To get rid of a place, basically, you just got to right click, remove from game. Are you sure you would like to remove the selected place or places? Confirm and it's gone. Guys, today is your lucky day because I got one more thing to show you. Here I have added a screen GUI to my replicated storage and name it Teleport GUI. And then go to your starter player scripts, add a local script. In your local script, just insert the following lines. Now publish it. To Roblox and let's go test it on Roblox. Here we are, let's take a look. Again, I'm gonna fight through my level one here by getting all the ladies. Gotcha! And once I got all the ladies, that board over there should appear, and that is gonna take me to level two. Here we are, and pay attention. There it is, it says level two. And we are now in level two. Like Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video and find the information helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.